Welcome to To Enable Help. In this uh, video I'm going to explain to you how to register or join an organization and as an organizational administrator how to accept an, an application to join your organization. There are two ways to do that. The first is obviously online through the online uh, links and um, the other way is through the Silverlight application and for the purpose of this uh, demonstration I'm going to use a Silverlight application. So. The issue is to join an organization, so clearly it's, it relates to the organizations that you wish to join, so they are my organizations. Uh, this is obviously the, you logged in, so these are organizations you've joined and they refer to as my organizations by the application. And uh, what will happen is obviously the organization that you've already joined will be listed and uh, if you wish to join an organization you merely click on the join button and if that organization is uh, available on the platform, you can then uh, select that organization and, and uh, request to join it. What you can see already is uh, in, in this space, um, the demo user has joined Casterbridge Music Development Academy and has already been through that process of joining Casterbridge Music Development Academy. And if any of you wish to join Casterbridge Music Ac Academy, that is one of the processes is to obviously click on the join button and Casterbridge will come up in the list and you can select it to and apply to join it. What then happens is it uh, appears in this list and it will appear in a state of pending. And if you ref recall earlier when we were talking about uh, membership cards, you needed to become a member of an organization to apply for a membership card, which is why uh, in this space you're already a member. But it comes up as, as pending and when the organization administrator of that organization um, then accepts your application, they will then you will then become a member. So you can join as many organizations as you want and if you wish to deregister from an organization you literally log back in and you click deregister and that will deregister you from the organization. The other way of joining an organization is through um, my account and in my account what uh, the way you do that is through the education institution. So if the school that you uh, are, are at is, is using the application um, and you you apply. So, for instance, if I um, you need to be in edits in the edit space in order to make a change, and you'll notice the education institution still is not, not really editable, but you need to click on this button, and it brings up a search screen. So here you type the name of the organised the education institution that you wish to join. So if you're changing school um, or if you've gone from a, a selected none by mistake and you wish to change it, you then open up this dialog box and you choose the name of the school that you're at. So uh, I'm just going to type Mary and see what it returns. And you type the name of the school or part of the name of your school and you click find. And what this does is it goes off and it searches the, the list of schools that, that we have on record and it'll return all the schools uh, that have the word Mary or the, whatever the characters are that you've typed. And the reason we do this is, is if we were to present you all the schools in the country, there are too many. Uh, there's, there's probably 60,000 schools that we have uh, on, our, on our database. And you would have to find the name your school from that list. So we've, we're insisting that you actually type the name of your school and you then do a search. If you obviously leave this blank and you click find, you'll, you'll, you will have to wait until we deliver you the full 55 or 60,000 schools that are on our list. Um, as you can see it's already taking uh, a bit of time because where we are based at the moment we have a very slow internet connection. Um, so if you've got a fast internet connection it will return this to you uh, far quicker than what it's doing at the moment and um, it looks like we're making progress. So you'll see in all of these in all of these um, schools there is a there will be a word called Mary and um, and we obviously wasn't a very good idea to choose because every school, every primary school has the word Mary in primary. So, um, so from this list you would pick the school that you go to and you would then accept it or you could double click on it. And, um, and in fact I'll just do this to show you and there you can see Alba View Primary School has now been selected as my school. To actually save this change, I need to hit the save button, and and when and um, I'm going to actually hit save uh, to demonstrate this. 
And what that is now doing is, is all the changes that I've made in this form, including the, the educational institution that, that I've selected, is now being updated in my personal details. And uh, while that's happening, I'm just going to close my organizations and get it to refresh that list. So it's gone back off to go and find my organizations. And what is now interesting is that it, the school that I've selected is not a registered institution in terms of, of an organization on our platform. So it's not added it to the list of schools, um, to the list of my organizations. If it were, and as you could recall earlier in Rob Ferreira, Rob Ferreira is one of those schools. When we selected Rob Ferreira as the school, it came, it added Rob Ferreira to this list of schools. And, and, and as I've explained, Rob Ferreira uh, has been set up to, to use this um, application, whereas the school that I've just enrolled in now, which is Alba View Primary School, has not been set up to use the application. So it, it, although the name appears in the list of schools, it's not going to appear as an organization or platform. Right, in order to go from here to as an organization administrator to then go and um, authorize the, the application of, of, of uh, a student to your school, I'm going to, I've logged in as an organizational administrator and this is into the out of browser version. And I am in Rob Ferreira School and um, if I just re reduce this you can see Demo user has status is impending for Rob Ferreira School. So as a Rob Ferreira administrator, you once you log in and you access uh, uh, organizations, and organizations, as you recall, are accessed on the organization menu item, and then you and uh, you then open up the, your organization that you, you you're managing. You'll see under users. And here, users, there's demo user, and demo user status is in the state of pending. So there's two ways I can do this. Again, I have to be in edit mode to make any changes. So I can either select it on, on here on the drop down, and I can go change that to member. That's the first way of doing it. Um, obviously, whatever changes I make here aren't reflected until I hit the save button. The other way of doing this is to, if there were many students who were enrolling or registering at the same time, is you can use the authorized button and the authorized button um, you obviously also have to be in edit mode and you select the user that you wish to um, you wish to search so i can for instance i can have a look and see if there are any deregistered users and it returns no deregistered users but if i select pending users it'll show me all the, the users that are pending and i can either individually go and change their status to member or I can hit the authorize all button, which will authorize to convert the, the membership of from pending to membership. And I did hit the authorize all button and you can see the list is now cleared. And um, if I go back to organizations, uh, demo user will be member. And of course, I have to hit save. And once I hit save, only then will it actually change those membership statuses. So if you make a mistake, you can always just cancel and come back and start again. So the save button is a, is a, is a fail safe um, for organization administrators. Now going back to the user, and this is the user uh, demo user, and as you can see, the status is still impending. I'm going to refresh that by going, by closing that screen and going my organizations. And that's forcing the program to go off and and uh, reload all this data and you'll see the status now has changed to being a member and um, and in the organization screen and I'll, i will reopen up the, the the application which is the administrator you can see when the membership start date and um, in this case because it's a school they haven't yet accepted terms and conditions but now uh, what will happen is, is there will be a pop-up which will the next time demo user logs in, and it'll ask demo user to accept the terms and conditions for the school which he's become a member of. So um, it gives you an idea of, of how you can how you can either join an organisation such as Casterbridge, which is a non-profit organisation, and it also explains to you how. Um, and I'm showing you the Michael Matthews version, which is the administrator version. But if I go back to demo user, uh, uh, so there we join the non-profit, and there we have joined a school. Um, and I hope that hasn't been too confusing um, and explains to you how to either 
apply to join an organization and how as an, as an organization administrator to accept uh, the application to your organization.